Hello and welcome gorgeous Pisces to your mid-month reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. So let's see what's going on over the next couple of weeks for you Pisces. My thoughts are powerful. Where are your thoughts at? Because this is important for the law of attraction and manifestation in your life. And it says here on the card, as I am aware of the power of my thoughts, I am able to create my dream life. So this is true. You know, there's going to be a powerful manifestation that can take place if your thoughts are in the right place themselves. It's so important to be non-judgmental or critical of yourself or of situations or of things that come your way things that are open to you over the next couple of weeks rather than shutting them down or thinking critically about them with your mind because if you do this it's just going to block an energy that could be marvelous for you and an opportunity might be missed if you are not aware of your thoughts don't look back okay important don't look back i may be feeling nostalgic about several things in my past but i know i have the power to move forward so yes don't live in the past don't look back stay in the present moment and move forward with confidence move forward with confidence knowing that you have done everything that you can do in this situation there may be healing that needs to happen with uh with this energy of the past as well i do i do see that maybe healing is necessary and maybe your thoughts are powerful to act as a catalyst for healing guidance for pisces please spirit angels and guides bring through a message for pisces please So there is a hidden light. Allow nothing to dim the light within you. Turn your light on and release love for yourself. Perhaps your self-love has been dimmed because of a situation with a family member or friend or a work environment. Maybe you're feeling very drained. Maybe you are not feeling the light within you, the inspiration, the joy that you once had. And so if this is true for you, there is a hidden light here. Spirit is acknowledging that's going to come out to play. You're going to have an opportunity to shine that light into your life once again. Now, maybe there's a divine masculine. Maybe there's a masculine energy around you um, of importance. The fullness of your potential emerges when you embrace your masculine energy through the heart of your inner feminine. So you could be... There, there could be a, a mix of energies here within yourself that you're uh, that you're working with masculine divine masculine divine feminine but i am seeing a masculine energy a male energy um maybe you're seeing a hidden light in this person that is possible but there's also a possibility here that this masculine energy is dimming your light that's also possible maybe it's actually linked to the past hmm Guidance for Pisces, please. And it doesn't have to be just romance. Okay, this might be a family member. It might be, it might be a friend. The Blue Banded Bee, Master of Miracles. Wow, okay, I love this card, Pisces, because it does mean that there's going to be a massive shift of these energies so far that's come up in the read and the greatest miracle from spirit is going to land right in your lap going to land in your life in a real way and it's going to be quite surprising that this energy shifts away from you in such a dramatic way but this miracle is on the way spirit is saying it with this card a beautiful card to receive actually and the butterfly symbolizes transformation and you're going to be bestowed with grace spirit is going to bestow you with grace to help you through um, there is an energy of big change, Pisces, big changes on the way. Maybe it will happen over the next couple of weeks. Maybe it's going to play out over the next several months. 
but there's going to be a massive shift in your consciousness or in a relationship or in some way where this miracle is needed. Angels, please bring through a message for Pisces. Happy is the one who attends to the needy. How easily are you irritated by the needs of others? Give away some of your time today, but not in a therapeutic sense. Attending to the needy also includes surprise acts of kindness. So over the next few weeks, you'll have an opportunity to surprise someone with an open heart, with kindness, to give away time, energy, resources, money, giving to others. It's going to bring happiness to not only their lives or their situation, but also to yours. Help others quietly without expecting gratitude or rewards. So these two cards are definitely connected here. Let the healing power of your spirit run through your hand as you reach to touch another, but say nothing to the person you help. Learn to give invisibly. So in some way you're going to be giving to another in a quiet way, in a quiet way, in not a boastful way at all. You'll recognize someone is needy and you're going to give to them in some way. And it's a beautiful energy and spirits watching this. They can see what you're doing and where it's coming from. It's coming from your heart. The king of wands. Now, this is a very dynamic king. This energy in your life, Pisces, means that things are going to start moving with your willpower, with your direction, with your leadership. So you're really going to step up in, in a way over the next few weeks. You may be into minds about something. There may be a back and forth with someone or within your own self. You're not sure if you're going to do something or say something. But I do like that the king is here overseeing this, meaning that your leadership or your strength, your inner guidance is going to show the way forward with this um, with this discord, whatever this represents for you, the two of cups, this is a partnership or you being close to someone now or in your past, perhaps because we do have the nostalgic card here. So maybe your thoughts about someone in your past that you're connected to doesn't have to be romantic. It might be for some, but it doesn't have to be But someone you're connected to emotionally or spiritually. Um, there is a balance that's going to come into your life and a realization about this person might actually be connected to this divine masculine. And the Ace of Swords, you're going to receive an inspiration from spirit. You're going, your thoughts are really going to be uplifted, which is wonderful because the very first card here was about you being aware of your thoughts and how powerful they are. So there's an upliftment spiritually. Um, to do with your thoughts and from these thoughts and ideas come plans so we have the sun a beautiful energy of joy which is the symbol of the dolphins so we have you kind of jumping for joy being in joy understanding what makes you happy now which may be different to what may made you happy months ago you know you're able to recognize that you're needing more of this energy in your life and, and it's definitely coming in for you. And we have the Empress. So we have the energy, the energy of the mother archetype here. So there may be communication with your mother. Maybe there's something to do with writing or communication. Um, whether you're, whether th this person, your mother or mothering energy uh, may be passed over if that's the case for you, there's going to be some kind of communication with you. So that's one aspect of this card. The other aspect is that you're going to feel and know that there's something you need to maybe write down or document over the next uh, couple of weeks. And there's a nurturing 
of yourself or a situation you're wanting to grow, develop, and you're nurturing it, you're caring for maybe this idea because we have the Ace of Swords right above it. You're caring and nurturing an idea that's going to bring you happiness and joy. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you would like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition and see if this resonates for you. You can trust your own instincts. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.